Let us review the different subtleties in injection of submucosal fluid for endoscopic mucosal resection. The first step you need to understand is the importance of a dynamic submucosal injection, wherein as you inject fluid into the submucosa, you lift the needle up as shown here and also withdraw the needle a little bit to allow a clean blob of tissue underneath the polyp. Another example to show the dynamic submucosal injection technique which involves moving the needle back to allow a nice blob to form. Large volume injection is necessary for successful separation of a large laterally spreading granular tumor as shown here. After first injection, a second injection was given. In total, 40 cc's was injected in three punctures, as shown here. Lesions that are on a fold and, and extending into the valley start the injection in the valley or interhostal fold and continue injection until the lesion flips towards you and gives you a full view of the lesion. Additional injections may be necessary to get the polyp into a better position as shown here. Multiple injections may be necessary as shown in the submucosal injection technique to lift this large laterally spreading non-granular tumor. The injection started on the sequel side. Additional injections were given on either side to create a successful separation of the lesion and finally on the anal side of the lesion.